Hey, I'm Kay, and I'm a big fan of the iPad, as I'm sure you know, but I'm an even bigger fan of iPad apps that offer a really cool edge and allow me to unlock my potential in an entirely unique way. And I think Zinnia definitely fits that bill. Zinnia is today's video sponsor. Thank you so much, Zinnia. Even though they are sponsoring today's video, I do have creative freedom and control about what I wanna cover about Zinnia and what I have to say about it. Then we're gonna hop over into Zinnia. Just to show you a look of the inside of my paper bullet journal, this is what I'm going to reference in trying to recreate my bullet journal here within Zinnia. I think it's really interesting looking back at this and then I can take some of the features from this bullet journal and apply them to Zinnia. So my past bullet journal is definitely the um, use what you have type of philosophy going here. Kind of the same thing that I apply with my iPad just to see what the iPad already offers and to kind of just use what you have. And that is definitely what I have done with this bullet journal. It's not the like bullet journal everybody goes to like the Electorum bullet journal with Doc Rid. It's quite literally just an extra composition book that I had left over from purchasing school supplies in high school. And I just printed out things since I didn't have stickers and I use construction paper since I didn't have fancy bullet journaling pens and papers and I really just use what I have here. So this is what it looks like. Um, kind of just a mod podge of things. When you first open up my bullet journal or my composition book here, I do have a quote here on the left hand side, which I think would be really interesting to try and apply that in my Zinnia bullet journal. And then I do have kind of this legend here where I wrote down the kind of traditional legend that is in a bullet journal, what represents a task or event or a note, an appointment and different things here, as well as um, whether something was started or completed or canceled or something. And then I do have a color code here that I used as well as some additional quotes. Moving forward, I do have kind of a books to read section. I think everybody probably had a spread that looked like this that did bullet journaling. And so this is a spread of books that I wanted to read and kind of drew out the books here. We also have some collages, some travel collages that I created in here that we can certainly apply to Zinnia as well. My past video on Zinnia was actually creating um, a honeymoon spread, a honeymoon travel spread. And so we can certainly apply that with Zinnia. And this is kind of a look at what my monthly spreads looked like. As you can see, I just drew out, this is a grid composition book, which ended up being pretty handy when it came to drawing these spreads. And yeah, this is just what we're working with. And then I have monthly tasks here that I wrote on the side, a monthly, reflex uh, a monthly reflection. And then for every month, I also wrote kind of a quote that I really liked and wanted to incorporate. For my weeklies, I did the same thing. I did the horizontal boxes here and then just wrote out anything that I needed to remember for that day. And as you can see, I'm applying the color code that I created in the beginning of the bullet journal, as well as that bullet journal key to represent what's a task, what's an appointment, and what's just a simple note. And so I applied that throughout more travel spreads and just mostly planning mostly planning and a few pages that are kind of like a bucket list here. I have a savings page, which is kind of funny to look back on to see what I wanted in high school. And then I also have like a to-do list collage page. And so certainly not your traditional bullet journal by any means. Um, but the, these are things that we can apply into Zinnia as well. So if you have a bullet journal and you've really missed that bullet journaling feeling and want to apply that to your iPad in a unique way and in an app that really helps you do that, then Zinnia would be great for that. So I'm going to reference these two pages here when I first start going into creating Zinnia. I want to pull this quote over into Zinnia as well as this legend here. And so I'm just gonna have this off to the side. So this is what my Zinnia looks like. Here is just a peek at my last journal that I did with Zinnia. And I wrote out kind of a weekly spread here of things that we were doing for our honeymoon. And then going into some pictures and washi tape and handwriting and text. So you can definitely create your own travel journal within Zinnia as well, or just anything that you want. 
So that was a look at that. And then you can also import your own planners in here. So if you decide that you want to do a lot of digital planning in Zinni as well, you can import those and then jump into these. But we're going to create a new notebook because I am going to start a bullet journal and I'm just going to select new journal. They do have full journals here where you can go in and select kind of a journal that's already started for you. I'm just going to start fresh. So let's go with a dot grid because that's kind of the traditional style for bullet journaling. And I'm gonna go with landscape and to have it set up as a spread so I can get that crease to have the two pages on either side. I'm going to hit begin new journal and I'm gonna back out really quickly so I can name it and do the cover. So I'm going to select the three dots here and hit rename. And then I'll just rename this to bullet journal. And then I can choose a cover or a color. I can also choose a photo to import for my bullet journal. And my bullet journal right now is a collage of different um, memes or pictures that I found really funny as well as this kind of floral pattern that I went with. So maybe we can find a floral pattern on Pinterest. Okay, so I found this floral pattern on Pinterest and now we have that pattern and our name here for bullet journal. Now I'm gonna go in and click this page here. Here is where this icon represents kind of stickers and templates and labels and lettering cards and washi tape and just all kinds of things that you can add to your journal or your planner. And what I really like about Zinnia is that they have these kind of like wrap up posts here at the top to walk you through things um, upcoming events and quotes and just different things that you can incorporate for May. And I just find that uh, pretty helpful. And then this is where you can add in your own images with this icon. This is obviously your text tool right here. And then this is the handwriting portion where you can use your Apple Pencil. They have a number of different fun like handwriting and pencil tools that I think are really fun and unique to use, especially watercolor and airbrush is two different options. But first I am going to go in and kind of go through and copy these templates for my journal here. So I have a um, F. Scott Fitzgerald quote for this and I'm just going to bring that over. I think I'll use text for this one. I am using Scribble on my iPad. I have Scribble toggled on in the settings of my iPad, which enables me to write something and it automatically convert to text. So I'm going to go with this style for my text. And this is just custom text that I'm using. If I select this A down here, I can go in and customize the size, the font, and the color as well. I'm just going to leave it as this for now. And then I can move and resize this. And I'm just going to put this kind of in the bottom Corner. I'm going to select this kind of sticker type icon and I'm actually going to look for kind of a page template that I can put behind that text to make it a little bit more decorative. So I really like this kind of paper style here where it's kind of grungy and old and I, I really like the way this looks. I found this by just searching paper. They also have journal cards included where you can add a journal card and it already has the, kind of the text feature built in, which is really handy. Maybe you can get into a bit of that. What I'm going to do though is you can see that it has kind of the crease down the center. What I'm going to do is just do it on this half sheet like this. Let me resize this a bit, but they do have cropping now. So I can come in here and I can actually crop this down, um, which is really, really handy. They also have this mirroring, fe mirroring feature, which is really handy for kind of flipping images as well. So now I have this and it's on top of my text, but the great thing about Zinnia is that I can just move this back by hitting that button. And now we have kind of a quote and a nice page background for this. I can click this and hit lock so I don't accidentally move it whenever I'm adding stuff on top if I wanted to. So now I have my nice little quote there and the great thing about it being digital is that I can create a table of contents and easily jump between pages later in my bullet journal. So I think what I'm going to do is set up a table of contents and a legend like I did in my bullet journal over here. I'm gonna go back in to kind of the offerings of Zinnia and I'm going to search divider 
because there are a number of really interesting dividers that I can use within Zinnia as well. I really like some of these more organic lines, so I think that is what I will go with. Just to have a dividing line between my table of contents and my legend for the bullet journal. All right, so now that I have that in place, I can go in and write for the legend. All right, now I have the, my legend text in place. I'm going to reference my past bullet journal here. You can see that I created a legend and I'm just going to move this over into my Zinnia bullet journal as well. So I'm going to use handwriting for this. And I like using the technical pen and I'm just going to do kind of a test, test scribble to make sure I like that. That will be good. And what I also like is that I can rotate kind of the papers and journals within Zinnia as well. So I don't have to physically rotate my iPad to be able to rotate within the app as well, which is really nice. So I used a square for task and we'll just use that as well. So I want to move some things around. Um, so I'm just going to take and hold and lasso and then I can just move this. So to show you that again, I just hold my finger on the screen and then I can lasso everything and then move. Move what I need to move. All right, so now we have my legend in place. Now I'm going to go in with the text tool actually and just write out this legend. And there we have my legend. Now I can go in and start creating my table of contents for Zinnia and I'll show you something really cool that you're able to do. But first let's go in and create the table of contents. They do have numbers and all kinds of things in this app, it's really cool. So I'm just going to search for numbers. And we have some fun, fancy numbers here. So we'll do it like that. I'm gonna come in with my pen and I'm just gonna create a line, kind of like a dividing line. And now I'll go in with my text. So I think we can start by creating kind of a reading list like I did in my bullet journal. Then we can go in and start creating some planning pages. So I'm gonna use that same text and we'll put that in right there. All right, back for my numbers, we will do page four as Part of my planning. So I'm just going to swipe over and add a new page, the same page. All right, so now what I'm going to do is select the number three and I'm actually going to click link here and then I can link it to that page. This app though is that you're able to link between pages. And so I wanted to bring up something that I thought was really cool. You can search for tabs and you can actually have tabs that will link to specific pages in your Zinnia journal or your bullet journal, your file, what have you. And I think that's really cool. And of course, you can add those into planner files that you already have. And so there are a number of really interesting and cool tabs here. Like this one looks really nice. And you can have these kind of like along the side of your journal or your planner. And you can actually have these link two specific pages within your planner file. So just search to see if there is kind of a keyword, like search a keyword to see what pops up. And we do have some reading templates here that I can use. So what's really cool is that there is a kind of full planner page for these templates. So if I go into reading, so I really like this one. I like how simple and minimal it is. I'm just going to move it over here on this side. And then you can see these blue boxes pop up and that just represents a place where I can actually use that as text. I'm going to click ungroup here because I can remove any kind of feature of that template that I don't want to use. I'm going to remove this. Of course, I can click ungroup here and I can actually go in and change the color of these assets if I wanted to. So I'm going to go in with the color dropper actually and kind of have this stuff match over here, I think. So 
so this is what we have and now we're going to go in and add a new page for my monthly so i'm going to give you a peek at what my monthly looked like just as a reminder in the paper version of my bullet journal i used the grid paper here to really help me draw out these blocks but the great thing about this app is that i can just use some of the templates that are included and then just make my own changes so i'm going to pop over to see what we're working with for this Throughout my bullet journal, I have a bunch of spreads of quotes from the show Parks and Rec. I wrote, this is a quote for the month um, from Tom Haverford in the Parks and Rec. We can add that to our quote here. And I'm just going to use the pen tools within this app to write that out. And what I really appreciate about Zinnia especially is the number of Easter eggs that are within the app as well. So if I come over here into the studio again and click the search button, I can actually search up Parks and Rec and there are a few other shows that you can search up to see related stickers to that show. So if I search Parks and Rec, we have a number of stickers that any, any fan of the show will recognize. All right, so now I have my May set up with my monthly task, my monthly reflection, my quote, and a fun, and some other fun, cute little extras and some Easter eggs from Parks and Recreation. And that's really sticking true to a lot of what I have in my paper bullet journal. And I've really brought it to life with Zinnia on my iPad. So now that I have my May monthly spread created, I'm gonna head back over to my table of contents. I'm going to click the number five and click link. And then I'm going to link it to this spread. So whenever I'm on my first page of my planner, I can click three and click go to this link and I'll jump to that page. Or if I wanna to jump to my May monthly, I can click five, click go to this link and I can jump to my May monthly spread. But now that I have my May monthly spread set up, I'm going to go in and date it since it is undated and then write some of my tasks for May. And there is a look at a filled out version of my May monthly with all of my tasks and deadlines planned. And that is the start of the setup of my digital bullet journal using Zinnia. So as you can see, it's so easy to set up and get started right away with creating and recreating bullet journals within Zinnia. There's also full journals already created for you to get started if you don't wanna start from scratch and you're able to import your digital planners, your favorite digital planners and reading journals and so on and i just really love a lot of the kind of crucial features that are offered and being able to access readily made templates and stickers and journaling cards and calendars is just so handy to create something really fast and really beautiful without much effort at all with this today we recreated the paper version of my bullet journal and brought it to life and made it super interactive using zinnia so that was a look at the setup of my digital bullet journal using Zinnia. Thanks again, Zinnia, for sponsoring and being so supportive of the channel. I really love being able to create something from scratch that's really easy and really beautiful without much effort. Just being able to jump into the app right away to create something really interactive and really special. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more like this, let me know down in the comments as well. But until then, I will see you in our next video. Bye!